And so let's begin at the beginning, at the highest point of Wharton Crag, 163 metres above sea level, at the Iron Age Fort, overlooking where the migrating geese and ducks and seabirds spend their winter months. I began over there. I began in railway houses in Carnforth. That was a long time ago. <laughs> but I used to climb the crags close by here. But let me show you some of the things now. When you think about it, 2,000 years ago in Iron Age times, this was a wonderful defensive position with steep crags rising on three sides. So with a few additional ramparts and ditches, the locals had their secure encampment. It was a very tribal society in those days, of course, each with their own warrior chief. Evidence has now been gathered indicating that this was an encampment built between 600 BC and the 1st century AD, when local tribes were resisting the encroachment of the Romans. Everyone lived in low circular huts, made from mud and animal manure, lath and plaster, with the roofing coming from the local reed beds. The chief and his family had their own hut, but it was a very communal life, with each tribe having a weaver who wove the blankets and the clothing, and a woodworker who turned out eating bowls and spoons on his pole laid, and of course members who just looked after the animals. As they ate their meals of stew, porridges and bread, they certainly had a room with a view up from Wharton Crag. Stones once showed the position of the inner rampart, and walled enclosures indicated circular stone huts. But I'm afraid so little can be seen today. Many have heard of, and so few have seen, these fragments of a late Iron Age sword and scabbard that were uncovered here in 1857, but which now are kept in the dark recesses of the British Museum. But on private land in dog old caves further down the crag, there were more interesting finds of bison, wolf and dog bones from the Neolithic period over 10,000 years ago.